Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB School. In this video, we are going to simulate the uh, current control method for switch reluctance motor using Fuzzy Logic Controller. Uh, the same model is available for download in the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it and use it for your purpose. So let us get into the uh, simulation part. Okay. So when you download the model uh, from the link, you will be getting uh, it in the, in the form of a zip file. So you have to extract it. Once you extract that, uh, you will be getting uh, two files like this. So let us open this file first of all. SRM current control underscore fuzzy. So it will take a while to open. Previously, I have uh, published a video on current control of SRM. Uh, so if you want to uh, know the in-depth details of current control method of SRM, you can refer to that uh, video as well. So before getting into that, I would like to give a small outline about the simulation. Uh, based on this thesis so uh, here we are going to use a motor with uh, 8 bar 6 poles in the sense there will be 4 faces on the rotor side and 3 faces uh, I mean 4 faces on the stator side and 3 faces on the rotor side uh, so uh, with this formula we can calculate the step angle ok uh, so 2 into 180 by uh, QNR Q is the number of stator faces and NR is the number of uh, rotor poles. Okay, so here we have uh, uh, six number of rotor poles. So while calculating it, you will be getting 15. So for each uh, uh, switching of faces, that is, if the uh, phase supply is switched from, switched from phase A to phase B, the angle of rotation will be 15 degrees. Okay. So, when the pole cycle completes, that is when the four faces are switched, the total angle the rotor would have rotated is just 60 degrees. Okay. Uh, so, this can be uh, found out by either by using a Hall sensor or you can go with some sensorless control techniques. Okay. So, the model. Yes, the model is opened. Okay. So it is taking a while to open. Okay. So the model is opened now. Um, so to run the fuzzy, we need to uh, bring the fuzzy data into the workspace. So if you double click this, double click workspace data that mat the fish file will get uploaded in uh, in the workspace okay so only if this fish file srm face is there in workspace you can run the model otherwise the model won't work okay so this is the uh, fuzzy uh, logic controller inside this you have to give the name of the particular fish file that we have in the workspace okay so srm fish right so before that let me explain few things about this uh, 1500 is the reference speed that we are going to give to this controller uh, and this is the actual speed that we get from here okay the speed that we are giving is going into this block and it is coming out through this way okay so just we are uh, taking the speed and it is compared with the uh, reference speed here uh, so to this fuzzy uh, fuzzy logic controller we need to give two inputs one is the error error in speed that we get by comparing uh, the reference speed with the actual speed of the motor 
so he, here we have a saturation uh, block which will limit the error in between 5 and minus 5. And the second input that we give to the fuzzy logic controller uh, is the change in error. So change in error is basically uh, the difference of the error uh, from the previous error to the current error. Okay. So uh, we are just uh, subtracting the previous error with the current error and we are getting an error, uh, I mean uh, change of error. So here also we are fixing a limit, upper limit is 2.5, rate of change of error with uh, 2.5 at the upper side and minus 2.5 as the lower limit. Okay. Uh, then uh, we are taking the output of this fuzzy and it is multiplied with the uh, output of this position sensor. Okay. So here we are uh, getting the speed. Uh, the speed is in terms of RPM. So we are just converting that to radians per second using this formula. And the speed is integrated. Then it is, uh, I mean, we are finding out the remainder just by dividing it with 60. Okay. The 60 means the one complete rotation of the, uh, I mean, if you, if you have switched all the four phases, in a particular sequence, the motor motor's rotor would have rotated by an angle of 60 degrees. Okay. Uh, so here we have uh, alpha and beta. Uh, the alpha and beta, the difference in alpha beta uh, should be 15 degrees. Okay. Uh, the reason is for every uh, switching in phasor voltage, the angle of rotation, that is the step angle, would be. 15 degrees so for this reason uh, the angle between the alpha the difference in angle between alpha and beta should be 15 degrees okay so the output is multiplied with the uh, fuzzy, fuzzy controller's output uh, and the output of this product block becomes the reference current okay so this is the reference current now and to this reference current we are comparing the actual current we are getting the actual current from here right so this is the actual current this actual current is compared with the reference current and the error will be given as input to this uh, hysteresis controller or we can call this as bank bank controller both are same bank bank controller and hysteresis controller are, uh, are the same controllers so we have 0.5 uh, whenever uh, the output touches uh, 0.5, the output will be uh, 1, and whenever uh, uh, the error is minus uh, 0.5, the output will be 1. So, uh, altogether, there will be uh, signals for all these four phases. Okay. Uh, so totally we have four signals coming from the bank bank controller uh, all these controllers converters are asymmetric converters okay so in an asymmetric converter you will find two diodes and two switches to control the voltage of, uh, of, of a single phase okay so uh, totally we have four legs uh, in this asymmetric conver uh, converter and the output of asymmetric con uh, converter is given as input to this uh, SRO. Okay, so before running this model, let us uh, uh, let us see the uh, fuzzy rules. Okay, let us uh, input uh, this from the uh, workspace. Okay, so uh, let us uh, uh, import this from the workspace. So we have to give the name.
Okay, so uh, uh, we are uh, importing the file from the workspace. So if you want to know the membership function, you can just see it. Okay, this is the output membership function. And we have to frame the fuzzy rules accordingly. Okay. Now we shall run this model. So the model is compiling now, it will take a while to run. It is initializing now. Okay, uh, the model has started to run. So, since we are running the fuzzy, it will take uh, some more time to run. So we have given uh, 1500 as the reference speed so it will uh, take some time to reach 1500 rpm so once it reaches 1500 rpm it will settle there okay so it is uh, reaching 1500 rpm okay Yes, now it is settling uh, exactly at 1500 rpm. And the good thing about the fuzzy is uh, the overshoot and undershoot will be very, very less. Uh, comparing uh, the controller which is made of PI or PID, the fuzzy has better performance. The settling time uh, will be very, very less. Uh, the undershoot will be very, very less. Also, the overshoot. So, so it is setting exactly at 1500 rpm okay with this by level by level measurement you can measure uh, different values
So let us uh, have a look at the uh, current. Okay. So these are the current of different phases. Okay. And this is the torque. So here we have the torque. Okay. The current. Also, we have the speed. Okay. So the same model is available for download. Uh, in the link given in the description you can download it and you can use it for your purpose uh, thanks for watching the video please subscribe our channel and uh, please share uh, this channel to your friends uh, thanks thanks again for watching the video thank you